In the West, we find the idea of killing and eating dogs heartbreaking. Dogs are considered pets, companion animals and family by many. But is this an ethnocentric idea? Two days ago, on June 21st, Yulin's annual dog meat festival began in China. During the 10-day festival, 5,000 dogs are expected to be killed and eaten. In this episode of the Satanist Podcast, I'm joined by Li Zerong, a native of China, to talk about how Chinese culture feels about the festival, eating dogs, and eating animals in general. So a lot of people in the West think that Chinese people eat dogs in the same way that you might eat a pig or a cow. But what do people actually think about eating dogs in China? I think mostly Chinese people think eat dog is quite weird. It's not common because I'm Chinese, but I never, I never eat dog before. And in my hometown, we don't have dog restaurant. I think you have some group Chinese eat dog meat, but it's small group and not common, you know. Also, I have many Chinese people, they are fighting to stop people eat dog meat. So what kind of thing do they do to stop it? I saw some people just make a group in social media mm-hmm. and said protect dogs and like said like stop eat uh, dog meat like that. I know the laws are very different in China to the UK mm-hmm. or the US. There are some things we can do in activism in the UK that I think is illegal in China. So what kind of things could you do in China and not break the law? I think now you can talk in social media is fun. And dog, I think, is quite common. Most Chinese people think mm. should stop it. So not break a law, I think. Okay. Mm. And was it always this way in your lifetime? Were people eating dogs when you were younger? When I was young, I remember in my town I have a small dog restaurant. Mm. But now they stopped. Do you remember and when? When they stopped? I don't remember because I've never been there. Yeah. <laughs> and quite like they show dog me dog front the restaurant. And mostly people see it, feel bad. What do you mean, like a butcher shop, like that? Butcher shop. No, they are killing, like, like in some some restaurant. Yeah. They killing animal. They and kill they them just at the restaurant. People. Yeah. Kill them at the restaurant. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And that makes people hungry. That's they crazy. They just show how fresh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I guess we do that with fish, don't we, as well, and lobsters and stuff. Yes. Yes. Quite like that. Okay, yeah. Do you know anyone who has eaten dogs? Yeah, I heard one of my friends, she said she ate dog before. Yeah. And she quite weird eating. So <laughs> it's like snake. Oh, like, really? Yeah, disgusting. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so just she one and mostly pe- my friend never eat dog. Mm. But in the past... It was more common than today. I'm not sure. I think so. Mm. Because, you know, like maybe 30 years ago in China is in China, many poor people there. So don't have chance to eat meat like now. Mm. So they chose different animals to eat. Like in before in China, it's yeah. quite difficult to find pork and and chicken and many many different animals yeah. but it's difficult to eat meat maybe one year one time two times because it's very expensive that time yeah uh, so they just trying to find a different animal to eat not just pig or cow or chi- ki- ki- uh, chicken chicken yeah. chicken <laughs> like that um so were they eating dog because they wanted meat or were they eating dog because they wanted to eat food? They needed to find some food. I think before. Yeah, before. Before, you just for find some food. But now, people eat dog. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe like in Yulin, maybe it's their cultural because they eat dog for a long time. Mm. Like many people eat pig chicken 
Like that. Just like the same thing. Yeah, yeah. like common. But another place in China is not common, I think. And the, the Yulin Dog Meat Festival, is that famous in China? Yeah, it's famous, but it's in by the way. Yeah, People think infamous. they are weird. <laughs> yeah. uh, but like you say, it's Yulin's culture. So mm-hmm. do you think that they should be allowed to keep it because it's part of their culture? I don't think they should to keep it because it's culture. Culture is from people. People made culture, right? Yeah. So you also can change it. <laughs> culture is... Culture is not the excuse. Culture sometimes can be wrong, mm. can be not nice. So in the West and in London, uh, we have protests about Yulin Dog Meat Festival because mm-hmm. people think it should be illegal. Maybe the UK government can say something. Mm. Um, but a lot of the people who go to these protests still eat cows and pigs, chickens, fish. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? For me, I'm a vegan, so I think... Dog is the same way as pig, chicken. And so I think they did like quite weird for me. Mm. Because they eat another kind of animals and they in the same time they go to a pro- protest for let another country's people stop it. Another kind of animal. Yeah. So it's quite weird <laughs> for me. <laughs> so I, just do your own business first. So just going back to the festival, do you know anyone who's ever gone to it? I don't know anyone. Hmm. I think because mostly my friends, they don't eat meat, so I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, they don't oh, eat dogs. a dog. dog. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and hmm. um, if you ate a dog, what would your friends th- uh, think? What would they say? I think they will think um, we are eating. Yeah, really? Yeah. And mostly people in China, they have pet is dog. So they think dog shouldn't eat dog. If who eat dog in China mm. is weird eating. Mostly people will think that. Okay. Mm. Only last year, Beijing took dogs off the official list of food for humans. And now dogs have companion status, which means that they're now legally a pet. So there are different laws about it now. And Shenzhen and Zhuhai also bans the eating of dogs uh, when the pandemic started. And Yulin has also banned it. Even though it's happening right now, uh, Yulin has banned the festival and eating dogs. But people are still doing it. I don't know. Like, mostly if government said, like, you stop it, stop it this mm. but you still do that and do festival i don't think so they can do it i'm sure you yeah did i'm it. sure it's happening now yeah <laughs> oh um, my gosh but apparently if you're caught you get some big fines you have to pay a lot of money mm. yeah i know like last year because pandemic so chinese government like made a law should like make people stop it wild animals yeah now you if you're selling wild animals in market is illegal but i know maybe some people still do it but but they need to be yeah. more secret yeah, about yeah. it yeah for chinese mostly my friend who i know like when we talk like say about uh yuilin festival we yeah. will feel shy oh you don't want to talk about it is it's not don't want to talk about it because we can't change it and we feel shy when we talk about foreigners. Like, far, I know many co- foreigners complained Chinese eat dog, but yeah. mostly Chinese, we don't eat dog. Yeah. So, but we can't change it, you know. So you we feel shy different. when people from other countries talk about it? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel quite shy. Yeah, they are Chinese, they eat dog, but... Yeah. I'm Chinese too. I never eat dog. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people in the West are misinformed when it comes to Chinese culture. Mm-hmm. They believe some things that actually aren't true. So I wondered if you could think of some of the main ones that you could maybe explain for us today. I have one. Uh, I have an experience. I go to English class. A uh, French guy ask me, uh, Chinese eat dog. Right. I feel very annoyed because I never eat dog. 
and I think she, maybe he think every Chinese eat dog.、Mm. And you, if you can search it, actually in China many people are eat J means they don't eat meat. This is, I I think is ten percent or ten percent. I searched in Google. I don't I don't really know it is correct or not, but I know many. Many people eat J. Yeah. Ten、mm. percent is very high. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know that guy. He is not vegan, and he talk like that. I I feel really annoyed at that. Yeah.、Thing. So he's he's kind of thinking you're bad, or Chinese people are bad because they eat dogs, but he's probably eating some chickens tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He, he, I think he is quite dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so I've also heard some people say that Chinese people eat cats. What do you think about that? Oh yes, I heard that. But ah,、uh, I think in Guangdong province they like eat. <laughs> Maybe、really? not not they. I think、But、some people. Some people, some people. I think it would not be group. Probably, um, is really weird for me. And is that happening now, or is it a thing of the past? I think now still happened. Um, I also heard people, some people there also eat mouse. Mouse. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it's so disgusting. This is something that some people in the West do say, is that Chinese people eat weird things. You heard that? Yeah, I heard that. Is not fair because you know how many Chinese and just one <laughs> person he is Ch or she is Chinese eat yeah, weird yeah. and make make like billion people are eat weird. It's、oh, not、yeah. that. Like the story、yeah. becomes famous and then someone in the UK says, "Oh, everyone in China does this." Yeah, because by news become fa fa famous yeah. easier. Yeah, it's true. That's why. Um. When I went to China, when I went to Beijing,、mm. I saw people eating insects, but only in the tourist areas. You could get insects on sticks. Is that something that Chinese people maybe do? Oh yeah, yes. Ah,、uh, some some people do it, but also it's not common meat in China. Like many people are scared to eat that. Yeah. Hmm. They just say a lot of protein or something, but it's really scary to use. It's, I think in Thailand it's same. Yeah, in the, in the West we、mm. we do, but we、uh, we don't just eat the whole bug. You know,、mm -hmm. we have to like break them down really small, and then some people eat like biscuits and cakes and stuff made with crickets,、mm -hmm. like little grasshoppers. You know. Yeah. Um. So some people in the West do eat bugs. Some people think that eating bugs is the future of meat, because we have to give up meat too. I, I think it's really dumb because I think you could just go vegan. Yeah. <laughs> But you know,、uh, people like to they like to point their fingers at China and、mm. say they're weird. But what I do is normal. One one thing I noticed when I was in China, I went to a wedding,、mm. and、um, you know they serve a duck or or a chicken or whatever. Um, we had a duck. I didn't. <laughs> it was on the table.、Mm. Um, a duck, and the duck still had the head still on.、Mm -hmm. And that's something in the West we would never ever do. Wow, in China, do it. Yeah. And show you what the animal you eat, what they look like. They are looking. They just keep them looking the same. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, in the West the we have to pretend that they're not. It's just food. You know.、Uh. We try to forget it's an animal. Mm. In my opinion, do you think it's weird that we have to take the head away to eat it?、Um, I don't think it's weird. Like, I another side, you can say people who eat for people eat meat、mm -hmm. is quite waste, waste, wasteful. Wasteful. Yeah, wasteful. If you eat like whole body, maybe you can. Kill less animal, just I think this way. No, it's very,、know. it's very true. It's very true, and I know China. I think a famous thing about China is chicken feet. People eat chicken feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really common. 
Chicken feet is really common. Yeah. Mm. Have, have you eaten chicken's feet? Yeah, yeah. But now it's quite... <laughs> think about it, it's disgusting. I don't know. I, since I stopped eating meat, yeah. when I see meat in supermarket, I will think to about animals, how this meat come from. But before, I never think it. Just see some food. Yeah, just yeah. some food. Yeah. So you keep the head, you keep the chicken's feet. Mm-hmm. Um, what about like the insides of the body? A lot of things you can eat inside of body. You can use different different way to cook it. Right. Yeah. It's even bloom. Blood. Yeah. Yeah. Even blood. You also can cook it. We in eat China. blood in the UK actually huh? for breakfast. Pig's blood. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the skin. Skin. Yeah. 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 Skin also. Yeah. Okay. We we eat uh, pig skin. Uh, which for anyone listening, that's what's it called? Pork scratchings. Um, we eat that when we drink beer. Oh. Like a beer snack. In China, it's most common when they do BBQ. Oh, yeah. So what do you say to people? Who, what you just said, mm-hmm. I think some Westerners who are listening, who maybe do eat animals, mm. might think that's disgusting. To eat the insides, to eat the organs. So what do you think about that? What do you say to someone? I I think this is quite why you eat outside, don't eat inside. You think eat outside is really good, inside is disgusting. I think this is one body. Yeah, do you think it's like hypocritical? Say one thing, do a different thing? Yeah, yes, yes, can say that. The same way with don't eat dogs, but pigs are okay. Yeah. Yeah. They always think another people are by the thing and stop thinking themselves, what they are doing. Yeah, that's it. You need Mm. to self-reflect. Look at what you're doing. Mm. I think it's difficult when you live in a place where everything you do is normal. Yeah. You need to somehow get outside that and look back in. I think that is difficult, to be fair. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's difficult. And you said that you're a vegan these days. So can you tell me a bit about why you went vegan? Because uh, since pandemic, we need quarantine in the condominium. So... I can feel like I can't go outside, mm-hmm. and I think about animals, like pig, chicken. They just live in a small pl- place, or they are alive until they get in, go, go to hey, how people k- killing them. Go, yeah, get slaughtered. Yeah. The first day they go outside is the day they die, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I feel very bad for them. Like. I think it's about freedom and like I just feel very sad about animals yeah so <clears throat> I stopped eating meat cool that's a good reason and 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 people like when they killing animals mm-hmm. is is really terrible what do you mean like how how terrible for the animals or for the people for for the animals, probably if they are. Oh, there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you ever watched this kind of footage, these kinds of videos? Uh, yeah, I watched some documentary, mm-hmm. so I can get more strong feeling and become to a vegan. Oh, good. And how long have you been vegan now? I've been vegan TM first. Yeah. Like, about half year. Okay. And I become to a vegan. I think since this year since this year, then half a year. What do people think about veganism in China? I think most people will think you are kind. Kind? Yeah, okay. and and uh, healthy. But, but, but some depends. They, like, in China, we, many people, they eat J. What's that? J is about religions. They don't eat meat. Mm-hmm. They don't eat animals, but I know some eat J people. They still eat milk oh. and egg. Uh, uh, is it about? Is it for the animals? Is that the reason? Um, I think the reason they start for stop eat yeah. meat is for themselves. It's religion for health, is it? Uh, not, not just for for good luck, f- oh, good life. Karma. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Be, this is religion, so they think is good for animals. 
uh, they need to do many good things like that. Yeah. This is religion stuff, I think. So obviously we know that uh, male baby cows and male baby chickens are killed uh, for eggs and milk. Um, but these people who are maybe J and they still eat milk and eggs, do you think maybe they just don't know? I think they just don't know it. Mm. And what about people in China? Do they tend to know that chickens are killed for eggs? That kind of thing? I think most people don't know it. Yeah. Uh, I, before I also don't need yeah I was vegetarian okay. 15 years the same mm-hmm. reason just need more information mm-hmm. do, do people know what veganism is not just Jay oh uh, yeah some people know mm-hmm. they know like many foreigners are vegan okay. or vegetarian but I think mostly people they just know vegetarian don't know vegan okay and like some people, they go to another country, is experience, yeah. so they will know more. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So you said um, foreign people, but so in China, are there not many vegans? I I think so. Most people are just eat J. We call it chu su. I think it's quite like vegetarian. Yeah, mm. I mean, are there people? Who are vegan not for religion maybe hive but i don't know it i maybe think not pro- many. yeah maybe not many recently i joined the group is people who eat j mm-hmm. in chinese social media like they i saw they post they always post uh about food j food yeah. how to cook it no people talk about anymore right yeah it's a j group or a vegan group uh, we in Chinese is the same word. Oh, it's chu su. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Ah, that's difficult. Chu su means eat. What, what is su? Vegetable. Su, yeah, yeah. Su is vegetable. I think for Taiwanese, they know more it. No more, more mm. than they quite. In in Chinese world, they have, uh, vegan and vegetarian. But in mainland China, still just use one word. I think. Oh really? Yeah. And what about vegetarian? Is that common in China? I think is quite common. I think people, but mostly is older people. They do that. They do it. Uh, because when they were younger, because of money, they probably had to eat. No, no, no? money in China become a vegan is very cheap. In China, meat more expensive than vegetables. Okay. Like in my hometown, it's really cheap. <laughs> like vegetables. Uh, and what about milk and eggs? Is that more expensive than vegetables? Yes, and the milk, like, I think now, like, some famous doctors, they said, you must drink meat, I mean, for, for children. You must drink milk. Yeah, for, right. ch- for children. So, mm, they, like, more healthy. And ah, yeah. Like, like, milk actually is not really common when I was a kid. Uh, not common like now. We we started drinking it already, be, because we think drink milk milk can be taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More we healthy that. like that. I used to drink so much milk as a mm. kid for this reason, mm-hmm. and I think in the UK we do still tell children that milk is healthy. Drink it, strong bones. Mm. You'll get tall. Uh, but in the UK, uh, dairy and meat industries, mm. they have a lot of money which they use to lobby the government. So they sort of bribe the government, pay the government mm. to say what they want to say. Do you know if that's similar in China? I don't know. I don't really know yet. Mm. But I I think I know like uh, the price of uh, every kind of food, like animals or vegetables, I think. Government controls the price. Okay. You can't do it very expensive. I, I heard like, Hey, last year, even now, maybe, uh, in China, pi- pig, pork, yeah. pork is very expensive. They made the price very high. So this become a big, big news in China. But this year, like, they made price go down a little bit. Okay. Mm. What, why, why is pig meat more expensive than, say, cow? No, in China, like, a cow, cow, 
is more expensive than pig. But oh. but I mean the price of pig, normally like I just the example. I don't really know the price actually. Now one ten yuan, one kilo. Mm. But like twenty yuan one kilo like that. They just expensive than normal price. Oh okay. Some people、mm. tell me that being vegan is for rich people or for white people or for Western people. It's a white thing, a Western thing. Do you agree with that? I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think human are same.、Mm-hmm. So, so not just for one group people, and actually maybe in Western country, you become more vegan、uh, quite expensive. But in China, is very is cheaper. Yeah, I、mm-hmm. think it used to be more expensive if you wanted like fake meat, fake cheese, and stuff、mm. in the West. But I think these days it's about the same price.、Um, do you have fake meat in China? Yeah, we have. I started like long time ago because we eat J. Like even people are not every day eat J. They may maybe make one day or two days in a year for one year eat eat J or one meal.、Mm. Mostly, like we we can go to temple to eat. Is is J? So they've had J meat for longer than the West has had fake meat, probably. Yeah, I think so because we eat J is long time already.、Mm. What does、mm. vegan activism look like in China? If you're a vegan and you want to help other people go vegan, what would you do? No, I don't know yet. Mostly they be, do just religion things like Buddha become to vegan like that. And、oh, I read some Chinese vegan. Maybe he can call Jay. I'm I I'm, I don't know.、Mm-hmm. He is vegan or or just either Jay. He post um、uh, his story, uh, in social media. He was very sick, and、uh, he stopped eat meat and getting better. So now he just trying to make people stop eat meat.、Uh, he makes many posts、uh, and shows a story and go to speak public speak. I think、okay. they made this.、Mm, I just know this person.、Mm. So a famous person. It's not that famous. I think you need to search vegan、right. and search J like that. You can see. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No, I would call that activism,、uh, but it's for health. That's what he talks about, health, right? Yeah, most of the people for health, I think. Okay.、Uh, religion and health. We just touched on the pandemic, and being a Chinese person,、mm-hmm. how has the pandemic affected you? For me, because I live in Thailand, like last year, in the beginning of pandemic, I can feeling people around me <laughs> if they. Heard I speak Chinese, or anyway they know I'm a Chinese. They were like look me quite weird, I think. <laughs> And I oh I remember, like one time I, I I have coffee with my friend. Yeah, Chinese yeah. friend. Ah、uh, yeah, Chinese、right. friend in a coffee shop. Like we talk, but we talk Chinese, right? And people around our they. Quite look look our maybe, maybe I think maybe、really? maybe they thought、oh, I we have we we got a virus or something maybe they 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 thought、uh, our ha- have the virus yeah because that time just started people don't really know about it so scared scared yeah and I mean <laughs> one time. I'm in BTS, in Skytree of Bangkok, with my mom.、Uh, we talk Chinese, and a girl stand next to her just moved to another side. Really? <laughs> yeah. So that time people that scared about Chinese, I think, because in Bangkok have many Chinese tourism. Yeah.、Mm. But sometimes we talk. They they was come said like, now in China is is good, but. In Thailand, still a lot cases、yeah. to me, but I did nothing. I just、uh, 
a person, no more person, yeah. like everyone. Like, so what can I say? I also don't like it. Yeah. Don't like pandemic, but I can't do. Yeah, it wasn't you. You're just, you were born in the same country. That's all. Yes, yes, that. <laughs> okay, so just before we go, if somebody is listening who still eats animals, but thinks that Chinese people eating dogs at the Yulin Festival is disgusting and wrong, mm. what would you say to them? What's your message to this person? Just think about yourself first for this kind of people. It's dog and pig cow, chicken, are uh, animals, not different, just dog be- can become to your pet. But I saw some people, they have pig up, is their pet, right? So why you think another people are eating weird? Yourself also very weird. If you think this way, then I just use the same word to you. Yeah, yeah, same logic. Yeah, yeah. As far as I can see, eating dog meat in China is almost finished. I think it's not going to happen for much longer. And I really hope that veganism, or even if it's J for religion, gets even bigger. Yeah, I hope so. And the dog one, I don't know, I think for young generation, it's easier. They finish, right? Yeah, Yeah. finish. (laughs) Older generation, they used to eat dog maybe for a long time it's quite difficult for them maybe mm-hmm. i don't know i hope i hope they can stop it you feel like it's changing yeah mm. should change should take a lesson from pandemic yeah yeah very mm. true and to the listeners i just want to thank you so much for making it all the way through this podcast please do let me know if there are any guests you want me to contact to try to get them onto the podcast and remember to leave a like and comment on the video to help promote it It's always very much appreciated. Thanks for listening.